Hey everyone, it's me Preeti. Today I'm gonna teach you how to swap the array elements. That is how to swap half of the array. That is, I'm just replacing 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10 in the place of 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. And in the place of 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, I'm just placing 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. So you can see the output here, right? We are just swapping the last part of the array to, to the front part and the front, I'm just swapping to the back part. That is it. So how am I doing this? So please do watch this uh, logic properly. I have used the same thing in my previous videos. That is how to print the elements of an array in ascending order, descending order without using inbuilt functions. So that is by using the swapping method uh, so please do watch this carefully I'm just taking off everything except initialization and declaration of array with temporary variable why am I taking this temporary variable while, sw while swapping a, a array we just need one variable to store the elements of an array now I'll just iterate a for loop and I'm dividing a dot length by 2 now I'm taking this length by 2 to get the mid element of an array so when you get the mid element of an array at that position you can swap the next continuous values towards the first position towards the first uh, position okay so that is the reason I'm taking a dot length divided by 2 to find that mid element now I'm just taking my temporary variable and I'm storing a of i and in place of a of i i'm storing a of a dot length divided by 2 plus i again in the place of a dot length divided by 2 plus i i'm storing the temporary variable and finally i'll iterate the loop once again for yes and printing the value of a of i just take this ln off yes so when you save this and when you run you get six seven eight nine ten one two three four and five so how did this happen the whole logic is you're supposed to replace six in the place of one and seven in the place of two eight in the place of three so this should not happen at a time first thing six should be placed in the in the position of one and one should be placed back at the place of six so this two should happen at once so how is this happening when the follow bit reads for the first time a of zero will be there and a of zero will be having a value of one so that value of one will be stored into a temporary variable so do remember this now temporary variable will be having a value of one later you are supposed to place the value of 6 into 0th index position right so what you're doing initially a of 0 so in the place of a of 0 you're storing a dot length divided by 2 plus i that is a dot length divided by 2 has a value of 5 so fifth index position will have a value of 6 so this sixth value the sixth element is placed in a of 0 the 0th index position and now now the a of 0 has a value of 6 now now what are you going to do you should store 1 in the place of 6 you should swap 1 to 6 now 6 has already been swapped in the place of 1 now you're supposed to swap 1 to the place of 6 so how you're going to do this a dot length divided by 2 plus i actually has um actually it is an index position of this place now this place is empty because six is already been stored to one now one is, is supposed to store in the place of six so you will just take this empty position that is you will simply replace a dot length divided by two plus i here and i have told you temporary va value this will anyways have a temporary value of a of uh, zero that is one so this will have a value of one now so one will be stored here into in the place of six so i hope you understood initially you will swap six to the place of one and later you will swap one to the place of six again when the loop it reads for the second time seven will be swapped in the place of two and two will be swapped in the place of seven again eight will be swapped in the place of three and three will be swapped in the place of eight
so this is how it happens a initially you swap one to the place of six and the next step the six is swap to the place of one so this logic is very simple at the end of the for loop you will just iterate a for loop to print the result so i hope you people understood and this is the only easier way you can understand if you did like the video please do watch and subscribe and share among your friends as well and uh, to be more updated on the channel you should be subscribed so please do subscribe and uh, if you have anything to say or if you didn't understand this one please do let me know in the comments i'll come back in a better way and better approach to explain you so thank you for the uh, thanks thanks for watching